for the last week. You can see over there that the police have, have not yet moved onto the campus, but they are getting in place to move onto Columbia's campus to take over uh, Hamilton Hall. Text message to shelter in place for their own safety. You see police farming that device. They are moving in to the building right now. It has started, Bill. This could be a long night on Columbia's campus. about half block away. You're seeing what we are seeing right now. They just made entry. They just went into that building. So what we can uh, learn from that is that that we going into right now, or it could be dangerous. They don't even know that, but they can't take that risk. They're dangerous. So they couldn't just go in on their own. They needed permission from Columbia University. That finally came tonight about 8 o'clock. This group of students and community members is here to express concern and support about how support for students um, and concern for how the administration is willing to um, arrest and bring police onto campus, which is supposed to be a safe space for students. I'm a Jewish student, so um, I feel like it's especially important for me to express my concern about Palestinian lives and suffering um, because I unequivocally uh, stand against the idea that Jewish people cannot be um, pro-Palestine. I'm, I think that Zionism and uh, like anti-Zionism anti and anti-Semitism are not the same thing, um, and. Human life deserves to be protected. Um, so that's that's my perspective.
I then became involved in the movement against the Vietnam War. The Columbia form, took the form of an occupation of five buildings that ended up lasting for seven days before the police were brought in to clear it out. This captured the imagination of people all over the country who started imitating it. And it looks like the same thing happened with the occupation at Columbia. It triggered occupations all over the place.